I know it's bringing right now the co-lead counsel for Dominion Voting System, Stephen Shackford. Stephen, thank you so much for being with us. You know, uh, we, 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 we talk about Fox, we talk about elections, we talk about politics, we talk about ideology. Uh, but, you know, you brought up such an important point yesterday. This is also about people, people who went to work for a company and who were threatened for doing their jobs, doing their jobs fairly and doing their jobs well. Um, uh, tell me, how much of this settlement is going to actually reach those people whose lives were actually threatened? Well, many of the Dominion employees are shareholders or have options and other equity interests. So, yeah, they're going to see some of this for sure. Uh, the vindication is also the big the number. The number itself also helps them prove to themselves, uh, prove to the world exactly exactly what Fox did and that Fox is taking some measure of accountability for it by paying out the largest defamation settlement in history. Stephen, good morning. Uh, many people, observers and even some on the inside, were surprised at the way Fox handled this, which is to say letting all this discovery spill out into the open to see all the evidence that worked against them and then just to settle in the end when maybe they could have spared themselves some of that embarrassment. On the other side of this case, are you surprised that they let it go on as long as they did? I'm very surprised to an extent, but look, I know some people are disappointed that there's not going to be a trial. Uh, but what you have to look at is what Dominion did. Dominion did not settle this case last year. Dominion made sure these documents got out in the public record. Hundreds and hundreds of these documents that proved just what Fox was doing behind the scenes, behind the closed doors, when they were broadcasting these lies to all of us. So I think that's an important part of, I think people need to remember that Dominion went through that, made sure these documents got out there, and only at the courthouse steps with Dominion willing to settle after getting the truth out. I'm looking at this list of other lawsuits Dominion has outstanding. Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, Mike Lindell of Mr. Pillow, Patrick Byrne, OAN, Newsmax. Newsmax, what is the message uh, to those companies and to those individuals sent by this $787 million decision? But we're, the 787 million and the documents getting out and the truth getting out, Willie. The truth is going to get out for all of them, too. Uh, we've got a long way to go in those other lawsuits. This lawsuit moved much faster than the other ones, but we're going to get there. All right. I, I'm curious. You, you've been um, talking about getting the truth out and how this has helped with that. I, I just want to push back a little bit and, and question that because there is um, there's a whole different world that watches Fox. And by the way, they're number one in many ways. There are millions of viewers that will not get this news. And what do you say to that? I, I, think that's, I think that's a shame. But if you would look at what would happen in a trial, I can tell you, because I saw what their opening statement slides looked like, they were going to come into that courtroom and they were going to gaslight. They, you, you, we weren't going to get Rupert Murdoch up on the stand admitting he had a, you know, that he could have stopped this and he, he knew what was going on. He was going to say he had no idea. The hosts were going to say they had an open mind, that they, they thought this could be true. And, and Joe, you, you're a lawyer. You know how this works. We we're going to have to come in there with the documents and prove that they were lying over and over again when they claimed they had an open mind and didn't, didn't know what the truth was. Those documents are out there. So you're absolutely right, Mika. We can't make Fox News report on this. We couldn't make Fox News report on the trial, well, even if it happened. But the doc... Go ahead. Sorry. Couldn't, couldn't you hold out for an apology, though? I, I think that's the thing that surprised a lot of people. They expected Fox to have to issue an apology for causing such grievous harm, not, only, the not only to the company, uh, but, but also to its employees and, and many would argue to American democracy. I agree with everything you just said. I think the apology is a little bit the wrong thing to be asking for. I think what we wanted is the truth to get out there. You know, a forced apology isn't worth much. But if Fox, and they're adults, they know how to do this. If they would just tell their viewers the truth about what actually happened in the 2020 election, that's what we're after. Yeah, they, they still have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, in depositions, we asked them why they wouldn't do that. They said, well, it's old news now, which is ironic. Uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not much indication that they're going to suddenly change editorial track on that one. Um, last night, your this Dominion CEO, John Poulos, said that Fox has went, gave a press statement in which he said Fox has admitted to telling lies. But, but where does Fox admit to telling lies? I, I, haven't, I haven't heard them say that as frankly as that. Well, I, 
they, they, they conceded the judge's ruling, which ruled that they were telling lies. And honestly, they also conceded in all the court filings that came out in, in January and February. We put in evidence where they had you know, requests for admission, uh, where they admitted to, to most of the lies. And then when it came time for them to, to oppose our summary judgment motion, they said, you know what, we're not going to oppose it. They, they, they conceded that all of it was false. They were not going to fight falsity at trial. So that, that's, a, that's, a, that's an admission. It's a little complicated maybe if you have to look at the legal papers, but they've admitted all this was false, at least in the lawsuit. Stephen, we know, of course, that there are other legal peril potentially for Fox News. Smartmatic has its own defamation lawsuit. Now, of course, not your case, but what is the sense here? Is there a sense that what you guys have done could provide some sort of a roadmap there? What's your expectations for the further legal trouble for Fox? I hope so. I think this is a roadmap. You know, Smartmatic has their own work to do. They have their own discovery to do. But I think what we've unearthed certainly gives them a good, as you say, a good roadmap for how to pursue their case. And I, I wish them the best. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I hate to do this. Uh, well, I don't really hate <laughs> to do it. I mean, it's, it'll be fun watching, watching yeah. you get a little nervous here. Uh, but Daddy... Uh, Danny uh, was on earlier today, and he said, "Danny Savalos." Danny Savalos, and he said, "I guarantee, because make sure to ask him, because I guarantee you, every lawyer in America wants to know: Did he get? Did they, the lawyers get a straight one third uh, fee from this?" So we asked that question <laughs> for Danny Savalos, <laughs> and every lawyer in America. Uh, I, 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 uh, I can't answer that, Joe. I can't answer that. I'm proud to have, to, have, to have represented Dominion in this case. I'm proud of how it ended for them. That's about all I can tell you. Okay, uh, and that, now I'd love you for uh, just uh, before we let you go, Stephen. I, um, I, I don't think Americans have any idea how hard it is to prove, to prove defamation. And I said earlier this morning, I know this firsthand uh, because over yeah. the past 20 years, Random people have accused me of being a murderer. Oh, not random. Uh, well, and also from random people, people to people online to the president of the United States. People on network. And, uh, and people on the, that network. Mm -hmm. um, and um, every defamation lawyer I went to said, it's horrible. We understand it. They told me what most, what they tell most people who want to sue for defamation. It's too hard to prove. You can't prove it. Uh, yeah, you can't prove state of mind. E yeah, what they did was wrong. What they did was terrible. But the standard is so high in American jurisprudence. And so while that's very frustrating for me, I understand. I understand. But I don't think Americans understand today, this morning, what a big deal it is that Fox News not only had to settle this, but had to settle for what you say is the largest fee in the history of, 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 of American judicial system for defamation. Can you just briefly explain how hard it is to prove defamation and what a huge deal it is that they were certain to lose this case, so they had to pay almost $800 million? Uh, you're exactly right, Joe. And it should be hard to win a defamation case to an extent. You have to prove, if you're a public figure, you have to prove that the defamer knew that what they were publishing was false or recklessly disregarded the truth. And you typically have to do that with documents. And you typically don't get documents like this in, in defamation cases. It's hard because we want our free press to have the freedom to, to report and make mistakes. But this case wasn't about mistakes. This case was about deliberate deception over and over and over and over again. And Fox knew, and Fox knew that. And that's why Fox paid $787.5 million to settle the case, because they knew that they were on the hook, given the evidence of, of, of their lies, their deliberate lies. Co-lead counsel for Dominion Voting Systems, Stephen Shackelford, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you.